Let me set the scene. Your executive, boss, client, whoever, has given you a document and said, I'd like you to turn this document into a slide deck. So you'll notice that I have got some headings in it. I could do this in PowerPoint on the desktop in a different way. But if you open it in your Microsoft 365 account on the web, it's really easy to get Microsoft 365 to do this for you right here in Word. So we're going to go here to the File menu and to Export. And one of those options is Export to PowerPoint. So if I export this to PowerPoint, it's now going to bring me some designs, which may or may not be your brand. But we could see more themes um, and we can see we can go across and it knows that it's coffee. So it's usually going to bring some sort of coffee cups. Let's go with that one and let's export. Now it will prepare the slides for you, summarize the document and it will bring your text in as well. Your text may be in the notes section. So let's have a look when we open the presentation. Now we're opening it in the browser, beautifully organized, and we can use PowerPoint Designer to change how that slide lo looks, but I'm going to leave that for another tip. So here we've got a table of contents. It tells us what we're going to do. But if I go back to the table of contents, I actually probably don't need that slide because in the document, I did need a table of contents. But let's just have a look. Um, there's a bit of an introduction, number read the taste test, and it's giving you those lovely, lovely images to support. So you can see that you've got lots of information here and it's a great starting point. It's brought in your text. It's added icons where necessary. It's using a theme. Now, if you want to change this to your own branding, let's say I'd prefer that one, the circles. It will apply the circles instead of that. And now I can come up to where it says editing here and open this in the desktop. Now, once I open it in the desktop, I've got absolutely full capability. Um, oh, it didn't upload. Okay, so let's uh, discard the changes. And it's brought it back. I don't know what that was all about. Now I can come to the design ribbon. I can apply my own design to it, which actually looks a bit rubbish. So I'm going to use Control and Z to undo that but I've still got designer here in PowerPoint. Now I can use PowerPoint's full capabilities to come in and say, okay, well, I don't want to do that. I'm going to say this in a different way. I might um, add all this text to my notes section and add one concise word. However, PowerPoint and Word on the web have taken most of the donkey work away from me. And now I just need to make it look how I want it to look and change the wording where necessary. So I hope that's going to save you tons of time.